tight. Don't worry, it's a nice warm 55. Oh, right here. Look at this one. And here she comes. And here comes her wave. Now, because Gilbert whales live in every ocean, it is no surprise that they eat all types of prey, including other whales. The blue whale, coming up on the screen, is the largest animal on Earth. It is five times longer and 50 times heavier than a whale like a mile. So how does a whale this size prey on a whale that size in the ocean? Well, it's possible because killer whales are the ultimate team player. In this example, we see the larger male orcas surround a sperm whale, forming a perimeter, while the females continue to drive the whale forward until it reaches exhaustion. The calves then move in to join the adults in the group. Whatever their prey, killer whales always cooperate and hunt together, making them a highly successful predator. Play is an important part of everyday life for a killer whale. It's how they teach the young to hunt and practice their skills as they grow. Yeah. Orcas spend a lot of time interacting and showing their playful side in the wild and right here at Subaru. Yeah. Porpoising is when they swim fast on the surface, breaking out of the water briefly. You can see them do this when catching a ride in the wake of a boat or when surfing in a wave. Orcas like to be touched. They rub their bodies on rocks when they can. Leah and Shinda are going to show you the same movement, just like you might see in British Columbia. You'll also see whales imitating each other in the wild. We see it here at SeaWorld all the time. The whales are constantly mimicking and learning from one another. Behavior has a purpose. For a while, the tail may be used to stun fish. Today, these whales may just be stunning all of you.